Welcome to the Life and Business Podcast, where it's all about creating the results you want in life and business through intentional thinking. And now, here's CEO, speaker, author, and award-winning life and business strategist, Cleidra Gross. It's time to tell a new story. You know, I help women leaders create new results in their life and business. And the first step to that isn't changing habits. Women will come to me and if they want to work on their life only, usually it's their health, how they aren't getting enough done. They're in a busy cycle instead of being really productive. It's just the way that they organize their life and it doesn't include the kind of self-care or they want to improve life and business and they have this passion, this dream that they want to bring to the market and monetize it. Or maybe they are already a life coach or a business coach and they're just not that great at sales. So either way, the new results in life or life and business, it starts with the story you are telling yourself. It actually doesn't begin with the habits that you need to change. Most coaches or the old school coaching talks about or will direct you to change different actions. And that's necessary, but the step prior to that is to really become aware of the story you're telling yourself. Because if you change your actions, for example, if you change your actions of wanting to grow your business, but your story is that you're not good in sales, then you're not going to change your business because the belief behind the action is inconsistent with the result you want to achieve. So let me give you a real life example. So my first book was titled Rewrite Your Story. And so I'm gonna give you story one. My first marriage, I worked so hard to save it. I hired therapists, I read every book I could get my hands on of how to recover from infidelity. I prayed, I fasted, And in spite of all of that, the day came when my husband said he was going to marry someone else. So at that point, I felt like it was so unfair. All of the work that I had put in, all of the money I had spent on the books and the therapists and the coaching, only to end in divorce and not reconciliation. Okay, that's story one. Story two. I am so grateful that my first marriage was one that gave me, that ended up being the best teacher for how I could love. I realized about myself in that marriage that I could love when it was difficult. I realized in that marriage that I could, I would pull out all stops to save my marriage. And because of that, I took the time to heal when my first marriage ended in divorce. I took two years and I didn't date anyone and I immersed myself in healing my heart. And as a result, I went on to meet and marry the love of my life. (laughs) All right, now you may be thinking, okay, Cleidra, so one story is just like the, let's bring out the tissue and the other story is just, you're just being optimistic. But I want you to know that I believe that the way you see your story or the way you tell your story is an intentional choice. It's not just about being optimistic, it's about being conscious and intentional. And so looking at your life now, I want you to really shine a light of awareness on how are you telling the story in the specific categories where you want new results. I'm all about you creating new results in your life or new results in life and business. But those new results require you to trade the discomfort of what you need to do now for the discomfort of what's required for next. And it's that discomfort of first being aware of how you're telling the story and not having that gap in this is what I really want, but this is what I really believe. So I want you to take some time this week to look at what you really want in your life, what you really want in your life and business. 
and ask yourself, is that story supporting my ultimate results? And then this is the strategy that you need to use. You want to separate the facts of the facts and the story. And what I mean by that is the facts in my story, my example that I gave you is that I was married before, I got a divorce, I bought a lot of books, I went to a lot of therapists. Those are the facts. All of that commentary about it was um, the tragic or I couldn't believe it or it wasn't fair. Anytime we start adding a lot of adjectives to the facts of our life, it's important that we examine the adjectives and the descriptors that we're using for what we've gone through because that determines if the story actually supports you or disempowers you, okay? And so this month in the Life and Business Academy, we have been working on rewriting your story in every category, rewriting your health story, rewriting your productivity story. You know, do you have a story that there's not enough time to get things done or that you're busy, but you're not productive? Do you have a story that you're overwhelmed, but you really have a desire to create a result of being more productive? That's an example of closing the gap on your belief and your story. We're working on telling a story of what's next. What's next on the other side of COVID-19 for you? You don't have to wait and let things happen to you. You can intentionally choose to tell the story. I can tell you with my love story, I wrote the story about my husband before I met my husband. I wrote the story about my global online coaching practice before I had one client. I wrote the story that I would heal from my divorce and it would be one of my greatest teachers when I was still crying every day about it. So what I'm offering to you is that the power of the way you tell your story is everything because it will either empower you or disempower you. Okay, so to summarize, look at the categories of your life or life and business that you want to create next level results. And then take some time to examine what story have you been telling yourself about those areas, those specific areas. And then look at, are there gaps in the story that you've been telling yourself and the actual results that you want to create? Have you been saying, I really want to this year to be the year that I'm in the best shape, but you tell a story about how you don't have discipline or willpower. Have you been saying that this is the year that I will have more structure to my schedule, but you keep saying the story of I can't get it together. It's time for you to tell a new story. Now, you can do that with what I just shared all on your own, or I would love for you to do it with the support of a group and with me every week. Right now, you could get immediate access to how to rewrite the specific categories of your life story in the Life and Business Academy. All you have to do is go over to cleedra.com and you'll see the Life and Business Academy. And I would love to see you there live as we continue to rewrite our story together. All right, take good care of yourself, be intentional and awake to the stories you're telling yourself about the results you wanna create in your life. All right, God bless and I will see you next week. Take care.